mi chiamo Colelia. Io mi chiamo Agata, siamo da Atena, abito con Trate Colubro. Cominciamo Due. a fare gli occhi lunghi. Agata e Clelia sono sisters in law who live near Atena, south of Rome. Today they are making the gnocchi lunghi in the family's cantina. Facciamo tutto? First they sift their zero zero flour which is from the local mill. The eggs are from their chickens. They allow one for every hundred grams of flour. This is all by eye, and they add more water as the dough is still a little dry. They knead the dough until it is smooth. The day is extremely hot and it is firmer than usual. While the dough rests, they make the condimento or dressing. They are using zucchini from their garden, which they cube. You can tell that they're homegrown because of the way they sound. Nothing is wasted. The stalks and bits of leftover dough are given to their hens. This is guanciale, a type of pancetta made from pig's cheeks. They have diced it so each piece has a little bit of meat. They add the meat to the pan and fry it to release the fat. Once it's a little bit crisp, they scoop it out because they don't want it overcooked. They fry the zucchini in the fat, then add a ladle of water and cover them with a lid so they steam a bit. Then they add plenty of just picked chopped mint. The condimento can now wait while they make the gnocchi lunghi. Gnocchi lunghi are called Picci in Tuscany and Umbricelli in Umbria. They take small amounts of dough and roll from the middle outwards with flat hands. Because the dough is stiff, Agatha and Clelia have not rolled out the gnocchi lunghi as thin as they would like, so they roll them out some more. Agatha's daughter Rosanna helps. The table they are working on, by the way, is from the 1920s. <laughs> Clelia adds the pasta to boiling salted water. The gnocchi lunghi cook for around five minutes. Clelia then adds the pasta to the zucchini. She tosses it. This is in fact a restaurant technique, so you don't break up the pasta or its sauce while mixing everything together. Lastly, she adds plenty of grated pecorino cheese. This is delicious. Buon appetito! Eh, Buon, 
are nice and chewy. Mm. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.